Tesla wall connector and Tesla mobile connector. Both are great products, but which one should you get to charge your own Tesla? There are a couple of key differences. The wall connector of course goes up to 48 amps or 11 kilowatts, while the mobile connector goes only to 32 amps or about 7 kilowatts. So that means for example for my Model Y, in one hour I can charge about 10% or a bit less on the mobile connector on level 2. But on this wall connector, if I'm getting 48 amps, I can get something like 15% every hour of charging. Another consideration, of course, is that the wall connector needs to be professionally hardwired into your home electrical panel, whereas the mobile connector has more flexibility because it works with outlets. It comes with adapters for both level 2 NEMO 1450 charging, as well as an adapter for a regular 120 volt charging. Although you really don't want to depend on this for your day-to-day -day charging, unless you're only driving a couple miles a day. To really take advantage of driving an electric car and all the cost savings associated with it, you're going to want to install level 2 charging in your garage. If all you have access to is level 1 charging, uh, you, you're not really going to go very far and you're going to be relying on supercharging more often and that's going to diminish your cost savings. Another substantial difference is cord management. So the wall connector has one of the best systems out there. You can wrap the cord around the unit when you're not using it. And it has a really smart holster which is in the side of the unit so the cord is completely out of the way when you don't need it. Whereas the mobile connector has no cord management. But if you're going to use this as your day-to-day -day charger, which is it's capable of doing, I would recommend investing in more cable management accessories. So lastly, there's price. So this one is a bit more expensive than the mobile connector. But when you consider the entire cost of your charging setup, it's not that much. You will have to work with an electrician to hardwire the wall connector to your home or you can hire them to install a new outlet so you can use the mobile connector. Um, the price difference between those two jobs is the same because it's basically still running the same conduit and wiring to your garage. I think for most people, the wall connector is the better choice just because of the better features, the hardwired installation, which is more dependable in the long run. Uh, however, there are some people who do not have access to level 2 charging in the immediate future or maybe never at all and that's where the mobile connector could be very useful. I've got one of each. I have this at home and I have this in the trunk of my car for on the road usage. Uh, but honestly, for most people I would recommend they just get a wall connector and call it a day.